Xiao Xian and Sun Er's eyes were focused on Xiao Yin as they stood outside of the blood pool. Their faces were filled with a seriousness and a nervousness. Xiao Yin, you must not lose your rational thoughts. Xiao Xian tightly clenched his hands. His mouth continued to softly mutter words. Bang. While Xiao Xian continued to mutter, a strange muffled sound was suddenly emitted from Xiao Yan's body. The two watched Xiao Yan's face become an extreme purple-red color, and his soaring aura began to rapidly revert. Who? Xiao Xian and Sun Er heaved a sigh of relief when they sensed Xiao Yan's aura rapidly weaken. Fortunately, Xiao Yan had maintained his calm in the face of great temptation. Xiao Yan's aura quickly diminished. Within a couple of minutes, it had weakened from the peak of the ninth star to around the sixth star. However, this was not something that the previous six star Xiao Yin could compare with. Both were similar levels, but there was a significant difference. This fellow has suppressed it very ruthlessly. However, this will incur a rebound. Xiao Xian smacked his lips. He did not expect Xiao Yin to suppress his aura from the peak of the ninth star back to the sixth star. This thought had just flashed within Xiao Xian's heart when Xiao Yan's aura, which had been suppressed to the sixth star, began to rebound. However, the speed of this rebound was being controlled by Xiao Yin, so it was a lot slower. Peak of the 6th star, 7th star, peak of the 7th star, 8th star, 9th star. Xiao Yan's aura slowly rose, stopping once it had rebounded to the 9th star. However, it did not rise to the peak of the 9th star again. However, Xiao Yan's expression changed when his aura reached the 9th star. It was forcefully suppressed by him again. This time, the aura could no longer be suppressed any further after reaching the peak of the seventh star. The energy is too dense. There will still be a rebound, but this should be the final one. Xiao Xian nodded as he sensed Xiao Yan's rising and falling aura. From the looks of the current situation, all the changes were under Xiao Yan's control, which made Xiao Xian a lot less worried. Xiao Yan's performance really satisfied him. Sun Er by the side also smiled and nodded. The energy that Xiao Yin had absorbed was far too dense, but this density caused the Dou Qi within his body to be too thin. It needed to be compressed in order to allow the Dou Qi to recover its usual denseness. Blup blup. Bubbles continued to be emitted from the clear pool. Xiao Yan's aura finally showed some signs of rising again after pausing for a moment. Within less than five minutes, it easily broke through the seventh star and reached the eighth star. Finally, it came to a complete stop at the peak of the 8th star. Peak of the 8th star. Xiao Xian and Sun Er sighed in relief after sensing Xiao Yan's stabilized aura. His strength had risen by 2 stars. Fortunately, this level should be within Xiao Yan's control. Xiao Yan had found the most suitable equilibrium in terms of the great increase in strength. After Xiao Yan's aura completely stabilized, his eyes, which had been shut for one and a half years, finally began to twitch. A moment later, they were finally opened in front of Xiao Xian and Sun Er. Qi. Two purple-red lights shot out of both of Xiao Yan's eyes like pillars when they were, were opened. It caused a towering stone pillar within the large hall to turn into dust with a bang. The light that shot out was slowly diminished a moment later. However, Xiao Yan's originally dark black eyes had gained an additional purple-red color, causing them to appear quite unusual. Who? A mouthful of hot eroding air followed Xiao Yan's throat as it was slowly spat out. Upon sensing the ocean like Dou Qi, a joyous feeling suddenly formed. Immediately, a clear voice that vaguely possessed a dragon roar and phoenix cry bellowed from his mouth. Roar. The roar was like thunder as it rolled through the hall. It shook the room until it trembled. Ha ha, how refreshing. The roar reverberated across this hall for a moment before gradually disappearing. Xiao Yan loudly laughed. His hand slammed the surface of the water, and his body rushed out in a flash. He gently landed beside the blood pool. A frighteningly powerful aura that could not be increased any further swept in all directions like a storm. Congratulations, Xiao Yin Ji Ji. Sun Er sweetly smiled and congratulated him when she saw him smoothly exit his retreat. Xiao Yin grinned and stretched his lazy waist. His hand randomly grabbed in front of him, and the space itself appeared dented. After sensing the feeling of being filled with a majestic energy, Xiao Yin was confident that if he fought Gu Yao again, he would be able to defeat Gu Yao within 20 exchanges with no Do skills. A peak 8 star Do Zun, in terms of level, the current him had truly caught up to Gu Yao, Gu Hua, and the rest who were considered the young geniuses of the Gu clan. 
Thank you, ancestor. Xiaoyin turned to Xiao Xian by the side, who had become old-looking. With a wave of his sleeve, he unhesitatingly knelt in the direction of his ancestor and thanked him in a deep voice. Forget about Xiao Xian's seniority. Xiao Xian had turned himself into this state in order to preserve the final bloodline of the Xiao clan and had waited a countless number of years. He was worthy of receiving a kotao from Xiao Yin. Xiao Xian smiled in a pleased manner. His eyes were filled with a gentleness as he helped Xiao Yin to his feet. He said, the Xiao clan has a chance to be revitalized now. My waiting here for so many years was really worthwhile. However, the one you should thank this time around is likely your little girlfriend. If not for her help, you would not have been able to merge the three types of bloodlines. Xiao Yin was slightly startled. He turned his head and looked at the smiling Sun Air, but she slowly shook her head at him. Xiao Yin naturally understood her meaning. She did not wish for there to be a clear divide between the two of them. A warmth immediately surged into his heart. What else could a man wish for after gaining such a woman? Xiao Yin, currently, a new bloodline seed has been planted deep within your heart. You need to protect it properly. Do not let any mishaps befall it. It will play a critical role in determining if you will reach the Dou Di class. Xiao Xian's expression was solemn as he continued, If you reach the Dou Di class, the wasted bloodline and the bodies of those members of the Xiao clan will once again be revived. And the bloodline will be even stronger than in the past. This is the only hope to revitalize the Xiao clan. Xiao Yin quietly nodded. His hand gently rubbed his chest. It was just possible for him to vaguely feel his strong and powerful heartbeat. Each time it beat, it seemed to cause the Dou Qi within his body to ripple a little. Additionally, you should be careful of the Hun clan. I have come into contact with them many times, and this clan is quite mysterious and strange. Even when the Xiao clan was at its peak, we could only fight equally with them. The Xiao clan had a peak period among the eight ancient clans. At that time, the Xiao clan was the strongest while the Gu clan was the second. However, the Hun clan was the most unusual. Based on my guess, the strength of the Hun clan is likely a little stronger than even the Gu clan. Xiao Xian's expression was solemn. Back then, the Xiao clan had engaged in a big battle with the Hun clan and had roped in many helpers. However, they were ultimately unable to gain much. This was enough to prove how powerful the Hun clan was. Moreover, the Hun clan had a long history, but it appeared that its bloodline hadn't been exhausted. This was something that Xiao Xian had never understood, but he was ultimately unable to obtain a true answer. The expressions of Xiao Yin and Sun Er changed when they heard Xiao Xian's words. Sun Er was clearly aware of the strength of the Gu clan. The Gu clan had fought with the Hun clan during these years and had won most of the time. Hence, she found it difficult to accept it when she heard Xiao Xian mention that the Hun clan could be stronger than the Gu clan. The Gu clan is indeed the most stable clan among the eight clans. However, the Hun clan is far too mysterious. There is hardly anyone in this world who truly understands them. Xiao Xian sighed. He waved his hand when he saw Xiao Yin and Sun Er frowning. He said, in any case, before you reach the Doshin class, you should try to be careful. You possess the two Shi ancient gods jade in your hand. The members of the Hun clan will definitely come and look for you. Xiao Yin nodded. He clearly understood in his heart that regardless of whether it was because of a grudge between the two clans or some other personal issues, those fellows from the Hun clan would definitely not let him off easily. But it was impossible to shrink back for any reason. He would definitely not submit before he truly reached that final step. Even if his opponent was the most mysterious Hun clan among the eight ancient clans, it has already been two years since you have entered the heavenly tomb. There is still around a year left before you will be sent out. You should train more during this one year and get used to your strength at his sword. Xiao Xian patted Xiao Yan's shoulder. He immediately clenched his hand and a scroll with various flame drawings appeared in his hand. This is the complete version of the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change. It also possesses the final step. If you successfully learn it, you will succeed in creating the clan tattoo. If the bloodline strength is used in union with it, it will unleash the strength of the clan tattoo to its limit. Xiao Yan's eyes immediately landed on the scroll when he heard Xiao Xian's words. A heat surged within his eyes. The completed version of the Skyfire 3 mysterious change had finally landed in his hands. Xiao Yan's eyes were fiery hot as he received the scroll full of fire symbols from Xiao Xian's hand. He hesitated for a moment before suddenly asking, Ancestor, 
since the Skyfire 3 mysterious change was created by you, you should have also been in possession of a heavenly flame back then, right? Xiao Xin smiled and nodded when he heard this question. He sighed, back then, I too possessed three types of heavenly flames. However, I blew up the three types of heavenly flames after that final battle. Xiao Yan's eyelids involuntarily twitched when he heard this. His heart contained a shock that he could not hide. Xiao Xian was actually forced to the point of exploding the three types of heavenly flames. One could imagine just how dangerous that situation was. However, the thing that caused Xiao Yin to feel somewhat uncertain was how Xiao Xian could control three types of heavenly flames given that it was unlikely that he had practiced a qi method like the flame mantra. Aha! The qi method that you practice is indeed very powerful. Although it is not the highest class qi method that I have seen, its growth potential is quite frightening. Relying on swallowing a heavenly flame to obtain strength is undoubtedly walking on the tip of a blade. This kind of qi method is dangerous and overbearing. Xiao Xian smiled and spoke after having understood what Xiao Yin was thinking in his heart. When I controlled three types of heavenly flames back then, I was using my strength to forcefully control them. I did not swallow and refine them. Someone who had reached that stage could forcefully suppress even heavenly flames. Xiao Yin nodded. No wonder. Xiao Xian had used the most overbearing method to control the three types of heavenly flames. Given his strength back then, it was possible to suppress the three types of heavenly flames. The Qi method that you practice is most suitable for the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. After swallowing and refining them, you can already use these heavenly flames to the pinnacle. There is not even the slightest resistance. This is something that even the me back then was unable to do. Xiao Xian smiled as he continued. Since you have obtained the complete version of the Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change, you should study it properly. Try to successfully train and create the clan tattoo before leaving the Heavenly Tomb. Shayan nodded and did not say much. He turned around and briefly chatted with Sun Air. After which, he sat down and placed the scroll on his brows. He absorbed the large amount of information within it into his mind. This absorption continued for a moment. Xiaoyan slowly opened his eyes and a solemn expression surfaced on his face. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change First Change Second Change Third Change Suddenly, Xiaoyan's hands formed some seals with lightning-like speed. The Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change was completely activated within a short few seconds. At the same time, the aura within Xiaoyan's body also soared. A searing hot violent dochi swiftly circulated around Xiaoyan's body. Wave after wave of heat slowly seeped out and entered his blood vessels. The flow of blood within his veins suddenly became faster. With his outstanding spiritual perception, Xiao Yin could sense a mysterious energy rapidly shuttling within his blood vessels. Its destination appeared to be his brows. While the mysterious energy within Xiao Yan's body was shuttling around, some natural lines gradually began to appear on Xiao Yan's brows in the outside world. Soon after the first appeared, there seemed to be another line following close behind. Chi. A slight sound was suddenly emitted from Xiao Yan's body when the third line appeared, and those mysterious lines that had just appeared gradually disappeared. Xiao Yan's eyes opened when those lines disappeared. He frowned. Some doubt appeared in his eyes. Clearly, he did not understand the reason for his failure. The clan tattoo of the Xiao clan is divided into nine strokes. You only formed three strokes earlier. Xiao Xian by the side spoke in an indifferent manner. The final step after executing the Skyfire 3 mysterious change is to draw the clan tattoo. Although the clan tattoo is always in your body, you need to activate it. Drawing the clan tattoo will require an extremely great amount of Do Qi and exquisite control. The current you has just experienced a sudden increase in your strength. Clearly, you have yet to reach the stage where you can truly control it at will. The exhaustion from just these three strokes is already terrifying. Will anyone dare to activate the clan tattoo when fighting with another? Xiao Yin bitterly laughed. As long as you activate the clan tattoo, you will no longer need to exhaust such an enormous amount of dou qi to form the strokes. All you need to do is think about it, and you will be able to unleash the clan tattoo. As the saying goes, the start of everything is difficult. This activation of the clan tattoo is the hardest step. Xiao Xin explained with a smile as he waved his hand. All right, continue. Being able to draw three strokes on the first attempt is already quite good. Calm your heart and control your dochi perfectly. 
Only then will you be able to perfectly draw the nine strokes. Xiao Yin merely nodded when he heard Xiao Xian's urging. He threw a helpless pair of eyes at Sun Air while she covered her mouth and softly laughed. She returned an expression that suggested she could not do anything to help. Who? Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air. He quickly calmed his emotions and adjusted himself a little. Subsequently, he once again began to form the clan tattoo. Skyfire 3 Mysterious Change the difficulty of forming the clan tattoo had exceeded Xiao Yan's expectation. He had originally thought that this thing would be easy. However, it was unexpectedly this troublesome. These short few strokes possessed an incredibly harsh requirement in terms of Dou Qi control. At this moment, Xiao Yan finally understood just how tragic it was for the Xiao clan compared to an ancient clan like the Gu clan, where the clan tattoo was bestowed by the elders of the clan. Fortunately, there was still plenty of time in the heavenly tomb. Although the progress was a little slow, there would ultimately be a day when he fully succeeded. Time swiftly flowed by while Xiao Yin was bitterly attempting to draw the clan tattoo. This kind of training might be frustrating, but it did not appear boring. At times, Xiao Yin would remember Gu Qing Yang and the rest who were outside of the tomb. However, he did not find even the slightest bit of time to be lazy in front of Xiao Xian's strict monitoring. Half a year passed by in a flash amid this bitter and dull training. A skinny figure sat in the hall that was filled with an ancient atmosphere. His eyes were tightly shut as the aura of his body appeared vast and majestic. At this moment, many strange purple-red lines appeared to be forming because of an invisible pin. Upon closer observation, the eighth stroke showed signs of appearing as a perfect line. From the appearance, a clan tattoo that was emitting a mysterious energy had mostly taken shape. Xiao Xian was watching the eighth line form of the clan tattoo on Xiao Yan's brows. He slowly nodded. Being able to form eight strokes of the clan tattoo within half a year was a speed that could be considered among the top even in the Xiao clan back then. Moreover, Xiao Yan had begun to draw the clan tattoo just after his strength sword. His speed caused the difficulty to significantly rise. Xiao Xian had just nodded when he saw a purple red line slowly start to form on Xiao Yan's brows. Xiao Xian was immediately stunned upon seeing this line. Some surprise quickly flashed across his eyes. This little fellow is thinking of using the momentum to draw the ninth stroke? While Xiao Xian felt surprised in his heart, the mysterious line on Xiao Yan's brow was slowly formed in a very stable manner. It did not pause along the way. At a glance, it was filled with a natural beauty. This little fellow really surprises people. That final line was completed at an extremely slow speed after Xiao Xian exclaimed in surprise. When the final stroke landed, a mysterious purple-red clan tattoo instantly appeared on Xiao Yan's forehead. Buzz! The blood flowing within Xiao Yan's body suddenly sped up the moment the clan tattoo was formed. A strange voice was slowly transmitted through his blood vessels and body. Success! A joy flashed over Xiao Xian's eyes when he heard the humming sound of the blood vessels. Who? Cheyenne's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened when the clan tattoo was formed. A purple-red light surged into his eyes. He gradually got used to the light a moment later. After which, the clan tattoo between his brows slowly disappeared under his skin with just a thought. It has finally been successfully activated. Cheyenne gave a long sigh. Although the clan tattoo on his brows had already disappeared, he could sense a mysterious energy light suspended under his brows. By being in possession of this clan tattoo, he would no longer need to activate the Skyfire 3 mysterious change in the future. With just a thought, this clan tattoo would become a perfect secret technique. Xiao Yan's body trembled as he stood up. He heard a clear sound being emitted from his bones, causing him to smile. Half a year of training had not only allowed him to successfully form the clan tattoo, but his control over the Dou Qi in his body once again reached a peak. The current hymn could truly be counted as Do Zun at the peak of the eighth star. Counting the time, three years should also be up. Xiao Yin slowly raised his eyes as he sensed the enormous difference between the current hymn and the person who had entered the heavenly tomb three years ago. He looked outside the ancient hall. Perhaps it was time to return. There are still around five days left before three years is up. This heavenly tomb trip will come to an end. Sonair by the side smiled and spoke as she studied the expression of contemplation on Xiao Yan's face. Xiao Yan could not resist sighing softly when he heard this. He did not expect three years to pass in the blink of an eye. Although only half a year had passed in the outside world, 
they had trained bitterly for three years. Although the training was bitter and dull, it was fortunate that its effects were unexpectedly good. Shayan had only just advanced to a six-star dozun after entering the heavenly tomb back then. However, he had reached the peak of an eight-star dozun. Adding his many techniques and the clan tattoo, he would be able to fight even a nine-star elite dozun. The three years had allowed Xiao Yin to experience a drastic transformation. Haha, it is also time to leave. Time really flies. Xiao Xian by the side also laughed. His voice contained a faint sadness. The heavenly tomb might enable him to live in another form, but it also left him with an endless loneliness. He was like a criminal trapped in a world void of liveliness. Ancestor, will you still continue to exist in this manner in the future? Xiao Yin was silent for a moment before inquiring. Xiao Xian softly sighed. He nodded and replied, This is the price for surviving in another form. We cannot leave the heavenly tomb. Once we step out of here, we will instantly vanish. Hence, we can only survive in this world in this manner and endure the loneliness. Hearing the faint desolation in Xiao Xian's words, Xiao Yin's heart felt extremely terrible. Xiao Yin and Sun Er had only stayed in this place for three years, and they found that it was difficult to stay longer, yet Xiao Xian had been stuck in this place for hundreds or even thousands of times longer than them. Is there any other way for you to be revived? Xiao Yin slowly asked. Ha ha, I am aware that you are an alchemist. Some high-tier medicinal pills can indeed revive a person on the brink of death. However, I am a soul that died a countless of years ago. Moreover, this soul is incomplete. Xiao Xian smiled and appeared quite open-minded. He patted Xiao Yan's shoulder and said, Little fellow, if you feel terrible in your heart, you should try your best to break through to the Do D class. If you can reach that level, you might think of a way to help me escape. However, it is pointless for the current you to think about. The reason that I have endured the loneliness and remained here is not because I wish to be revived. Instead, I had hoped to be able to pass down the bloodline strength of the Shao clan. I did not want the bloodline strength of the Shao clan to be buried in this dark, heavenly tomb with me. Xiao Yin inhaled a deep breath of air and suppressed the churning emotions in his heart. He was aware that what Xiao Xian was saying was true. Even if Xiao Yin really possessed a method to free him, he did not possess the ability to do so. Ancestor, please rest assured. I will definitely return to the heavenly tomb again. However, I will have broken through to the Dou Xing class the next time I return. Xiao Yin replied in a deep voice. Although it would be extremely difficult to reach the Dou Xing class, he would do his best no matter what. A, B, C. Xiao Xian smiled in a pleased manner as he studied Xiao Yan's grave face. He suddenly beckoned with his hand, and Xiao Yan's storage ring shook. A palm-sized light cluster drifted out and stopped in front of Xiao Xian. This is? Xiao Yan was slightly startled when he saw the thing that floated out. He could see a fist-sized piece of jade suspended in the light cluster. A mysterious aura was vaguely emitted from it. This is the insect queen of the ancient devouring insect. This insect queen has also reached a level equivalent to the Banshin class of humans, but it is currently in hibernation. Otherwise, you would not have tunneled through the energy wall so easily. Xiao Xian smiled and informed them. Banshin class insect queen? Xiao Yan's face twitched when he heard these words. His hand quickly became a little numb. It was really the case of the ignorant being fearless. If he had known that this thing was that terrifying, he would not have grabbed it out of curiosity. No wonder the ancient devouring insects had become crazy after we exited the crystal wall. It was because Xiao Yin Ji Ji had brought the insect queen out. Sinair curiously glanced at the jade object and laughed. If you were allowed to take this thing out and it woke up, the insect queen would quietly enter your body and secretly devour your dochi. Unless an elite doshing intervened, it would be impossible to find it within your body, Xiao Xian explained with a smile. A cold sweat immediately appeared on Xiao Yan's forehead when he heard this. He had already experienced this once. Even though the current him was no longer his past self, he still did not wish to touch these damn things. Fortunately, Ancestor has sharp eyes. Otherwise, I would have ended up harmed by this damn devouring insect queen. Xiao Yan spoke with some fear lingering in his heart. Ha ha, this insect queen is indeed troublesome. However, it is the best material to make an ancient insect emperor cloth, Xiao Xian smiled. He started to explain when he saw Xiao Yan's uncertain eyes. The ancient insect emperor cloth is a kind of special defensive dough skill. 
After refinement, it will be able to take on an armor shape that covers one's body. This thing was most popular during the ancient times. Based on my expectations, if this insect is used to refine the ancient insect emperor cloth, it will likely be able to endure an attack by an elite Ban Xing without being destroyed. Oh? Cheyenne's eyes brightened when he heard that this unassuming thing could actually endure the attack of an elite Ban Xing. His body already possessed the Dragon Phoenix ancient armor. If this ancient insect emperor cloth was added to it, he should be able to retain his little life even if he were to endure a blow from an elite Do Xing, right? You can rest assured. Leave the refinement of this thing to me. I will hand the ancient insect emperor cloth to you before you leave, Xiao Xian smiled and said. The current you should make full use of the time to do another thing. What thing? Xian asked in a startled manner. To finish off the two members of the Han clan. After suffering such a great loss, one cannot just forget about it, right? A member of the Xiao clan is not magnanimous. Xiao Xian spoke with a faint smile. Hunya and Hunli, huh? Xiao Yan's eyes shrank after listening to his ancestor. He replied, how can I forget about those two? However, it is just that I am unaware of where they have hidden to at this moment. Xiaoyan's current strength had soared. If he were to face Hanya and Hunli, he would be able to finish the both of them off without having to summon the Sky Demon Puppet. The only living individuals on the Heavenly Tomb were the few of them. This place was filled with danger. Even if those two were to die in this place, it was likely that no one would know. It was really the best location for murder. As long as they are still in the Heavenly Tomb, they will not be able to escape my senses. Xiao Xian gave a slight grin. He gently waved his hand. The space in front of him fluctuated as a crack line slowly formed. Xiao Yan shook his head. The corner of his mouth was lifted into a dense cold smile. He did not say anything else as he strode forward and entered the spatial crack. Sun Air followed close behind. Xiao Xian smiled when he saw the two of them vanish into the spatial crack. This could be considered Xiao Yan's final training before leaving. A faint energy fog lingered in the air of this endless land. Energy bodies would occasionally drift by. They were extremely silent, appearing just like ghosts. A figure wearing a silver armor was seated in the air above a messy rock ruin. Powerful energy spread from its body. Clearly, this figure was an energy body that had reached the nine-star level. At this moment, this energy body's eyes were cautiously sweeping the area below. Although not a single person was present, his many years of instincts caused him to feel a hint of danger. The energy body focused for a long time, but it was to no avail. But this nine-star energy body had just relaxed when the space around him suddenly froze. Two black chains penetrated empty space with lightning-like speed. They were accompanied by a ringing sound as they rapidly penetrated this energy body. Subsequently, a black figure appeared in the empty space in a flash and grabbed the nine-star energy core. These energy bodies possess a great energy, but they do not have the slightest fighting strength. That black figure randomly put the energy core into his storage ring. He raised his head and revealed a ghastly young face. It was surprisingly Hunyu from back then. There are quite a number of powerful energy bodies in the deepest parts of the heavenly tomb. However, that fellow is too frightening. It is best to stay away from him. Another figure appeared soon after. A face covered in frightening scars revealed itself to be Hunli. Humph, it is unexpected that there is an expert from the Shao clan in this heavenly tomb. That bastard Xiao Yin really has quite good luck. Hunya's eyes were shady. He continued in a dense voice, We are leaving the heavenly tomb soon. Remember to use the spatial jade token to leave once we get out. If any news spreads, the Gu clan will definitely hold us back. As for Xiao Yin, humph, once we have the opportunity in the future, I will naturally lead some people to eliminate the falling star pavilion along with him. Hunley slowly nodded. A rich killing desire filled both of his eyes. They had been subdued by Xiao Yin ever since they had entered the heavenly tomb. How could these two proud fellows accept this outcome? There is no need to wait until next time. Would it not be a lot easier to resolve things now? You too, aren't I right? However, a mysterious ripple suddenly appeared when Hunley nodded. A soft laughter slowly spread as two figures stepped onto empty space. They appeared with smiling faces while Hunya and Hunli appeared gloomy. Xiaoyan? Hunya's and Hun Li's expressions slowly darkened when they saw the two figures steadily walk out of the void. Xiaoyan gently stretched his body. He and Sun Air were suspended in the air. His eyes were looking at the Hun duo below in a slightly teasing manner as he said, 
It has been two years since we last met. Looks like the both of you have not been doing very well. Hunya's expression was gloomy. His eyes suddenly swept around him, but his heart quietly sighed in relief after failing to find that mysterious expert from back then. He coldly laughed, Xiao Yin, you should not be overly arrogant. Even if I cannot get rid of you in the heavenly tomb, you will sooner or later be a homeless stray once we leave this place. Since that is the case, I should get the both of you to remain here forever. I think that given the strength of the both of you, you should be able to become eight-star energy bodies, right? Xiaoyan faintly smiled. However, his words caused a chill to rise within Hanya and Han Li's bodies. Eight-star energy bodies were basically lowly existences in the third level of the heavenly tomb. If the two of them were to become that existence, it would be much better to simply die. You really think too highly of yourself. Hanya's duo narrowed their eyes. Their tones were dark and sinister. After having exchanged blows the last time, they understood that they were unable to easily defeat Xiao Yin and Sun Er. However, Xiao Yin's group did not have the ability to stop them if they wished to escape. Is that so? Xiao Yin grinned and softly wondered aloud. Just what qualifications do you, trash from the declined Xiao clan, have to act arrogantly in front of us? If you hadn't been relying on a woman's strength, you would have already died many times over. Hunley coldly ridiculed. The murderous desire in his eyes appeared extremely dense. If he wasn't afraid of Sun Air, he would have already attacked without control and completely finished off Xiao Yan. Do not be impulsive. They naturally possess some confidence to have the courage to appear. Let's withdraw first. Han Yi appeared a lot calmer. Although only Xiao Yin and Sun Air had appeared at this moment, he could vaguely feel an uneasiness. He grabbed Han Li and spoke in a deep voice. Han Li hesitated after hearing what Han Yi had said. He could only unwillingly nod as he chillingly said, Xiao Yin, you better remember this. The next time we meet will definitely be the time when your falling star pavilion is annihilated. Hun Li and Hun Ye flew back after saying those words. Their eyes cautiously remained on Xiao Yin and Sun Air. The Dou Qi within their bodies began to rapidly circulate. I'm afraid that whether or not you can leave is not up to the two of you. Xiao Yin grinned and softly commented when he saw Hun Ye and Hun Li pulling back. Leave it to me. Xiao Yan's body disappeared in a ghost-like fashion after his final word sounded. An enchanting smile surfaced on Sun Er's face as she watched Xiao Yan disappear. The current Xiao Yan had already reached the peak of an eight-star dozu. This kind of level was stronger than the Hunt duo. Hence, the present Xiao Yan was sufficient to deal with those two. Oomph, you are asking to die. Hun Ye and Hun Li sensed something the moment Xiao Yan's body disappeared. A fierce glint flickered in Hun Li's eyes. His body shook abruptly as he clenched his fist, and a cold black fog surged out. It ruthlessly smashed toward the empty space in front of him. A somewhat illusory body slowly appeared when Hun Li's fist punched at the air. A long arm was extended and gently grabbed Hun Li's fist, which was covered in black fog. A frightening flame spluttered out of Xiao Yan's palm when the fist and palm collided. The dark cold fog on Hun Li's fist emitted a sizzling sound as it was completely vaporized. You have improved so little during these two years. How disappointing. Xiaoyan's hand was just like a rock. It did not move even a little regardless of how Han Li struggled. Xiaoyan slowly shook his head as he watched Han Li's expression change. Xiaoyan shook his arm and strangely bypassed Han Li's fist before smashing the other party's chest with lightning-like speed. A frightening force suddenly erupted like a volcano that had been brewed for a long time upon contact. Bang. The fierce force made Hun Li's chest quiver. Having suffered such a heavy blow, Hun Li's expression had turned pale in an instant. A mouthful of crimson blood was wildly spat from his mouth. His body flew back like a kite with a broken string. He finally rubbed against the ground and formed a hundred-meter gully before slowly coming to a stop. Eight star dozun? Shock suddenly surged onto Hun Ye's face as he glanced at Hun Li in the gully, who was struggling to climb to his feet. Both of his eyes were filled with disbelief as he looked at Xiao Yin. The aura that had erupted from Xiao Yin earlier had reached the eighth star, and the strength of that aura was much stronger than his. How is this possible? Hun Ye's mouth twitched. His heart involuntarily let out a roar. During these short two years, the two of them had failed to even increase their strength by one star, yet Xiao Yin had soared from a six-star Dozun to the eighth star. Hun Ye was really unable to accept this kind of vast difference. It is your turn. 
Xiao Yan's eyes landed on the shocked looking Han Ye after finishing off Han Li with a fast and powerful momentum. He laughed in a faint voice. Han Ye clenched his fist when he saw Xiao Yin look over. His pupils became sinister as they stared at Xiao Yin before both of his hands formed numerous seals. With the change of these seals, a mysterious clan tattoo swiftly appeared on his brow. Although I am unaware of why your strength has soared, you are still unqualified to retain me. Hunya's strength rapidly soared with the appearance of the clan tattoo. The sharp, miserable cry of spirits continued to be emitted from his body. Xiaoyan's strength might have soared to its current level, but it was not enough to cause Hunya to panic. Earlier, Hunli was at a disadvantage because he was careless. He had suffered a fatal blow before he could even activate his clan tattoo. Otherwise, Xiaoyan would not have been able to defeat Hunli this quickly. Hence, Hunya believed that as long as he was a little more careful, it would not be simple for Xiao Yin to retain him. Han Ye had no intention of remaining behind to engage in a bitter fight with Xiao Yin despite having summoned the clan tattoo. There was still an even more powerful Sun Air watching menacingly from the side. Once she intervened, Han Ye knew that he would certainly die. He took advantage of the great rise in his Dou Qi. His body turned, and he transformed into a ray of light that hurried far away. Han Li, you can rest assured that I will help you take revenge a hundred times over for this. Han Ye clenched his teeth and spoke while his body was wildly rushing away. However, Han Ye's voice had just escaped his mouth when his swift figure suddenly paused. He lifted his head and his eyes looked a short distance away in a hateful manner. A figure flapping a pair of crystal clear bone wings was standing in the air. That mocking face surprisingly belonged to Xiao Yin. Seeing the speed of Xiao Yin, which could not be detected, Han Ye's heart also sank, but he did not hesitate much. His foot stepped on empty air, and the dou qi within his body erupted without being held back. It carried an extremely powerful energy pressure as it rushed toward Xiao Yan. There was little change in Xiao Yan's face when he saw Han Ye risking it all. His body did not retreat. He instead took a step forward. His eyes were calm as he watched that swiftly enlarging energy light figure. Xiao Yan, die. Han Ye felt a slight joy in his heart when he saw that Xiao Yin was too arrogant to dodge. Having activated his clan tattoo, even an expert Dou Zun at the peak of the 8th star would not dare to clash head-on with him. Xiao Yin was undoubtedly suicidal. Chi. Han Ye was extremely swift and fierce. In a flash, he had appeared in front of Xiao Yin. A wild and violent wind pressed on Xiao Yin robes until they fluttered. His right hand was clenched into a fist. The mighty Dou Qi in his body gathered as he ruthlessly threw out a punch. Bang. After Han Ye's punch was thrown, the space in front of him collapsed. A five feet large black spatial line quickly expanded towards Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin, this is the fate of boasting to be more than you are capable of. You should firmly remember it in your next life. A punch that contained a terrifying wind swiftly smashed towards Xiao Yin. Regardless of how fast Xiao Yin was, he would not be able to dodge this attack. Hence, a dense cold smile surfaced on Hanya's face. A faint ripple finally rose within Xiao Yin old well like dark black eyes. A ridiculing smile was lifted on his face as a purple red light flickered on his brows. Finally, a mysterious clan tattoo slowly appeared. Xiao Clan's clan tattoo? Hanya's heart abruptly trembled the moment this clan tattoo appeared. An unease quietly spread from deep within his heart. It's over. Xiao Yin smiled as he studied the dense face in front of him, which was in close proximity. He clenched his right fist and a turbulent Dou Qi suddenly blasted forth. Bang! Both of the fists suddenly collided. A frighteningly loud sound exploded like thunder. Many ten-foot-large lines began to spread swiftly on the ground like a spider web. Chi! A black figure suddenly flew out of the energy storm that raged in the sky. The figure heavily crashed onto the ground. The large rocks in its path were blasted into dust amid many rumbling sounds. Grug! A mouthful of fresh blood mixed with organ fragments was spat out of Han Ye's mouth as he lay within the thick rock dust. He sensed that his life was quickly disappearing from his body. A horror and regret finally surged into his eyes. A skinny figure was slowly appearing in the sky. Indifferent eyes glanced at Han Ye below, who was on his deathbed. His head shook as he stepped through the empty air as he slowly walked to that beautiful figure in the distance. Relax. There will be even more members of the Han clan who will accompany you in the future. Hunya's eyes gradually succumbed to the darkness as an indifferent voice was softly transmitted to his ears.